Hello fellow commandos, PJ here and today with another AX build. If you've watched my previous Crate Mart 2 build, you know that that was good for scouts and such like and basically did the job. Well, today we're going to go off on a merry adventure and build something that should be able to tackle slightly larger stuff or slightly harder stuff. Ideally in a squadron, you know, get yourself in a team and uh, team up against some of the bigger enemies, but... We're going to go to wherever cells want, and as you've just seen, we've got the EDD beta database there showing the location of where cells the ship. So if you're new to the game, that website you just saw flash up, go on that, find the location, fly out to it. You're going to need probably about 150, 200 million credits around there to build this particular ship. No engineering at all, so it's going to have pretty poor jump range overall. It's not really meant for that. So combat ship. Now I've chosen Chieftain because it's pretty cheap. As you can see it's just shy of 20,000 credits and I think it's quite a distinctive looking ship that gets all overlooked an awful lot. It doesn't look anything other like, you know, like all the other wedge shaped ships we've got out there. We've got these sort of cool engines that move around and it's just a different looking ship and it's something I always wanted to try. Now I'm not saying it's the best ship well, there is a reason the Crate Mart 2 is so popular. I mean, if you go to an AX conflict zone, you will see a lot of them. But the Chieftain is something different. If you've got a Crate Mart 2 or you were thinking of buying one and you want something completely different, well, the Chieftain is probably it. I will point out now in advance, the canopy is wide open for attack. It's not ideal. And to be honest with you, some of the modules and the amount you can have in different places are a bit of a problem. But hey, you can build a tank out of it, and uh, that's pretty much what we're going to do right now. In fact, the overall idea with this particular ship is to completely A-rate it, or as near as possible, you know, within realms of normality, and um, see how we can go from there. We are going to be kitting it out with AX weapons very, very shortly, as you can see there, we've gone along. That's the standard spec, guys. You've got a lot of E-rated stuff on there, and a lot of that will need to change. It's just not up to the job. Some of it is okay. And you will notice on this build, I have a fuel scoop. Well, that's because there's quite a bit of traveling around. I made probably four or five different stops at different bases to buy different things, and there's nothing worse than being stuck in the middle of nowhere without any fuel. So that's why you'll see a fuel scoop pop up on this build. Obviously, you can delete that, at the end of your build and if anything I'd probably pick something like repair limb pits to go in the in the little gap that that leaves but anyway we're at the station we bought the ship from and as you can see I'm kitting out with shield boosters so I've just basically filled up all of the slots with uh, shield boosters on the utility mounts and we've got a ECM as well moving down from that we are going to leave the cargo rack you need somewhere for your repair limb pits after all but we are going to pretty much get rid of everything else i mean it's up to you if you want a docking computer and such like like i say you will see one on this build because i was flitting around quite a lot in fact while building one of these or any ship for that matter i would highly advise you take something with a really good jump range get to your destination make sure it's got a shipyard and then pay to transfer the chieftain across so in other words your journey that's 20, 25 jumps in your chieftain could be say six jumps in your aspects it's a big time saver. So don't use the ship you're building to travel here, there and everywhere buying stuff. Travel there in something with a good jump range and then bring this thing across. Which is what I did occasionally. But hey, you know, we're building the ship so sort of landed it everywhere and, and bought our stuff. So we're at Sinclair Market. This is an AX weapon uh, vendor if you like. I'm not the one with, you know, quite a few others. And we'll start kitting this thing out with AX. Now the differences here compared to my crate one the crate was basically AX multi cannon central, which is great. But supposing you've got something a little bit bigger than a scout, or you're in a team and you want to help out on something a bit bigger in general. Now, this chieftain still isn't going to be able to solo, you know, anything half decent. Let's face it, it's definitely a scout sized killer. But we're going to arm it with some AX missiles, basically caustic damage spec missiles or whatever the you know they do to the the thargoids but they definitely damage them now normal weapons and normal missiles and stuff like that your beam lasers etc 75 percent of their damage does nothing so in other words if your laser does 100 damage 
No, it's only doing 25 damage. The Thargoids nullify 75 of it. So this is why, even if you've got a good spec ship, it's good for PvE, etc., you're going to come up against Thargoids, even the Scouts, and more than likely take a beating. Okay, and that's why it's because your weapons are not performing as the numbers suggest they are. So, like I was saying, A-rate as much as you can. I think the only thing I didn't A-rate on this thing was the thrusters, to be honest, because I couldn't find anything in time. Because as of recording this video, it's currently the 13th of September 2022, in real date world times, um, a new initiative has kicked off and the Thargoids have started invading three different systems. So I was in a, a rush to get the ship there and give it a bit of a test. So the only thing I would have done was put better thrusters on this, really. So we've gone for bi-weave shields again. We've gone decontamination limpets. We've kept a cargo rack. All of the military compartments have got hull reinforcement packages on them, all four. Fuel scoop there and a docky computer. Now, I would be very tempted, like I say, to lose the fuel scoop and pop yourself in some repair limpets. It's all very well and good decontaminating your ship using a limpet, but it's probably going to be down on its hull, so you're going to want to repair as much as possible while you're out and about in the combat area, rather than returning back to somewhere to do your repairs and then having to go back again. It just sort of speeds it up and lets you stay in the combat a bit longer. But hey, that's up to you. So we've got the usual stuff then on this ship. Don't forget to set your fire groups because a lot of people do that, they rush out and uh, oh nothing's working, you have to set the fire groups. Now I was in a, a, a quite a big team here to be honest with you, there's a lot of players and um, I wasn't in a wing, there was just a lot of players here and they were taking on something bigger so uh, I had a bit of a play around, see how this shields and the hull stood up to you know, something a lot bigger, something way above what this ship should be fighting so uh, you know take this with a pinch of salt. It definitely looks good in combat, and it sounds fantastic in combat, but you're definitely not going to destroy one of these. Even if there's probably three or four of you in this spec ship, you're not going to do it. Okay, so don't even try if you're new to this game. You know, if there's a ton of other players there, go in and get a couple of bits. But in reality, you're not going to do much damage. You're just going to hopefully get the bounty on it if the other players manage to actually kill it. If you get some hits on yourself, you're going to damage you need to repair things, etc. However, if you're going to go and tackle the smaller stuff, no problem. Now this is pretty much solo that you can see in front of you. And we got a little Thargoid scout there, just like on my crate videos. It took no time at all to knock this thing down. You know, we've got some uh, size 3 AX guns and some size 2 AX guns as well going on there. And it's pretty much dead you know straight away it only took a matter of seconds to kill this thing so guys hopefully this alternate video is useful to you thanks for watching bye for now